Hello YouTube and welcome to a new text launch video with a brand new Apple iPad Pro 10.5 inch version. Now we are going to do the setup and then we take a look at how much free storage we got, which apps are pre-installed, how much the new 120Hz display refreshing rate is working for us, how good is the camera on the backside and a couple of other things. So first of all, if you got the 4G LTE version, take the SIM card tray tool opener, push and slide the tray out. Then take your nano SIM card and then you have to see where's the edge. The edge is there, chip down. And then you have to slide it back into the iPad with the chip uh, again, face down, chip goes down. Okay, there we go. Then hit the on off button on top, push it, push it, push it, still push it until you see the Apple logo. There we go. And now just wait for a few seconds. And there we go. First of all, choose your language. I choose English. Then select your country, your region. I'm a Germany, so I choose Germany. And we wait again. We have already an LTE 4G connection, but I'm at home. And so to save some data, I choose my Wi-Fi and then I enter my Wi-Fi password. The next question is, do I want to use location services? And yes, of course, especially with the 4G LTE version, you want to use it because you got a GPS uh, chip built in. And uh, next question is then touch ID, which I want to use as well. So place your finger on the home button, just place it. And no, you don't want to push the home button. And yes, on the iPad Pro, you still can press it. Adjust your grip. Now it wants you to scan the edges of your finger. So move your finger around and scan the edges because you never will, will hit the uh, scanner the same way uh, twice in a row. Uh, complete. We can't have no opinion here to, uh, no, no option here to um, save another finger that you have to do later in the settings. Then in case our finger gets damaged, lost or anything else, we have to create a passcode. You can choose alphanumeric, custom numeric or four digit. I just choose four digit because it's faster and I just use one, two, four. And again, confirm it. And there we go to the next big question, apps and data. You have two choices, or actually you have three choices. Restore backup from a previous iOS device, which can also be an iPhone. Set up as a new iPad. In that case, I've already checked, you got around 246 gigabytes of free storage with all the Apple Office apps, for example, and all the big garage and iMovie apps. Second thing is, uh, or, and the third thing is move data from an Android device. Yes, you can do this too, but I'm going to restore backup from my old, uh, old iPad Pro. Uh, if you have it in the cloud, you choose iCloud backup. If you have it on your iTunes, on your desktop PC or notebook, then you choose iTunes. I choose iCloud backup. Then I have to sign in with my iCloud. ID, which is nothing else but my Apple ID and password. If you're using the two-factor authentication and you have to confirm it with another iOS device, with your Mac, with your iPhone or with your previous iPad, enter the code. Then I have to agree to the terms and conditions. And finally, after a couple of minutes, I can choose my backup. It's telling me no backups available. No, 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 don't fall for this. This is, uh, if Apple got a hit here and there, a little hit, hiccup, just go back and do the confirmation again. You get another push notification on your Mac, on your iPhone, on, or on your previous iPad device. Just do it again. And if you do it for the second time, then your normal backups should appear. So now we see the backups. I choose the one from my old iPad Pro. Uh, just select it and then you have to give the device a couple of minutes again. There, finally enter your passcode and we are done. Next question is, if I want to use Siri and I say no, not yet. But one nice thing is on the iPad Pros, you can use Siri by saying the hey Siri command without having to charge the iPad. So I skip the Siri part and we are ready. 
So now all the apps from my previous backups are going to be downloaded again and will be restored. This will take a couple of minutes up to hours. Depends on how many apps I have previous installed and how good my connection is how and how good Apple servers behave at the moment. Uh, the language has changed to Germany because my backup was in, in German. So I just switch it back to English. And there we go. So first thing we do, of course, is turn, whoa, <laughs> brightness level. This is definitely the brightest screen and the screen with the least reflections I've ever seen on an iOS device. This is nice. Then let's figure out the fingerprint sensor. Okay, well, this was fast. And yes, this is not a touch ID. Yes, it's touch ID, but it's not this force touch thingy uh, that you know from the from the newest iPhone generation. No, this is something you can really push. So fingerprint sensor works. Uh, let's check out scrolling. And now this, whoa, <laughs> this animation this is, I don't know if the camera, if you can see this with the camera, but scrolling on the device is way faster. No, not faster, but more fluent. This is just so smooth. This is, like like gaming on on 60 frames per second this is really crazy oh let's do something else hook up the pencil to to the to the ipad pro then we start the notes app uh, pair the pen and now let's start start drawing hello youtube okay this is definitely nicer and faster let's uh, Yes, no, this is, this is, <laughs> this is definitely in terms of latency, definitely a huge improvement over, over the last year's iPad Pro. This is instant drawing. There's no lag at all. This is really like, like if you have an actually pen, there's no lag at all, or at least no lag that I can feel. This is, this is definitely something you will notice. Uh, in an instance when you put, pick up the new Apple iPad Pro. So let's, last thing, let's check out the camera. And, oh, we got live photos again, but I don't want live photos. Whoa, this is something, this looks great. This looks definitely great. Uh, if just just on, on the preview, uh, on the big screen, let's do try the OIS, the optical image stabilization on the camera. Let's do some shakes and there we go. And now let's see, first of all, look at the pictures. Nice picture quality, definitely nice picture quality. What about the smoothness of the, of the video? Do try the OIS, the optical image stabilization on the camera. Let's do some shakes. Nice. Nice. So this is again something really, really nice. And I have to say the new borders, the new form factor, just in comparison, I just grabbed the old iPad Pro and I have really, I have really problems calling it the old iPad Pro. But just look at those borders in comparison. There's a huge, huge difference between both devices. But this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you all in the next video. Bye.